Sensitronic Brake Control, also known as SBC, is an electrohydraulic brake system. With SBC, the driver's braking commands are transferred to a microcomputer through electrical pulses. This computer processes the various sensor signals. Additionally, it calculates the optimal braking pressure for each wheel based on the driving situation. When braking in curves or on slippery road surfaces, SBC provides greater active safety compared to conventional brake systems. The maximum braking pressure becomes available more quickly. This is achieved through a high-pressure reservoir and electronically controllable valves. SBC is activated by various wake-up events, such as when the parking brake is released. The system then performs a self-test at regular intervals. This means that the system checks itself for proper operation. This SBC self-test must be deactivated when working on the system. This prevents the test and automatic movement of the brake pistons. Lift the vehicle using a vehicle lift. Ensure the wheels do not touch the ground. Turn off all electrical consumers. Remove the key from the ignition lock. Note, leave the side window open. This allows you to switch the ignition on and off later. Lock the vehicle globally for at least 30 seconds. This allows the brake systems run on period to elapse. Keyless go cards and keys must be stored outside the transmission range. Unlock the vehicle for at least 15 seconds. Lock the vehicle again. The self-test is now deactivated. Store the key where it cannot be accessed by others. Note, the vehicle must not be unlocked under any circumstances when working on the brake system. Since the self-test is deactivated, work can now be performed in the vicinity of the wheel brakes. For example, brake pads or brake discs can be replaced. After completing the work, lift the vehicle again using a vehicle lift. Activate the application routine for the brake pads. To do so, unlock the vehicle again. Turn on the ignition through the open window. Switch off the ignition and wait for 1 to 5 seconds. Now, switch the ignition back on. Turn the rear wheel on the driver's side in the direction of travel for at least 3 seconds. The wheel should turn at 1 to 2 revolutions per second. Bring the wheel to a standstill. Switch to the front wheel within 60 seconds after finishing with the rear wheel. Turn at 1 to 2 revolutions per second until it automatically brakes itself. The rear lamps flash 3 times to confirm successful activation. The application routine is started, and the front and rear brake pads are applied several times. Lower the vehicle again. Switch off the ignition. Start the engine. Fully depress the brake pedal 5 to 10 times. If no fault message appears on the display, the application routine was successful. If a fault message appears, repeat the activation of the application routine. If necessary, read out the fault memory with star diagnosis. Finally, check the brake fluid level in the expansion reservoir. If the fill level is okay, the work is complete.